Yes. All right, so first we want to talk about Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft announced their uh, Surface tablet, which is uh, what they're hoping will compete against the iPad and uh, Google's tablet. Their main, comp their main uh, reason for releasing a tablet is it runs their new Windows 8, which is uh, the next operating system after Windows 7. Mm -hmm. So it'll run the same OS that you run on your laptop and desktop already. So that's going to be one nice thing. The nice thing is the, ta the tablet's going to actually run computer applications that the computers that laptops are, and desktops that run Windows already will be able to run on the tablet. So if you have that one uh, application that you use on a laptop that you just can't get on an iPad or a Nexus 7, you can run it on the Surface. So that's going to be one advantage of the Surface. And the next one is uh, Microsoft actually created a keyboard that kind of, it attaches to it attaches magnetically. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the Apple Smart Cover, but they took it a little bit farther. There's actually a kickstand on the back, so you just prop up the tablet, flip down the keyboard, and you have an. Uh, it's kind, it's not really invisible, mm -hmm. but there's just a touch keyboard right there waiting for you to use. So it's. If, the, if you like actually typing on a keyboard, the Microsoft huh. Surface tablet will be pretty good for you. All right, so do you think that this, I mean, obviously this is their move to try mm -hmm. to compete with Apple. Do you mm -hmm. think it's going to work? It will work for those that have, again, those specific applications that they need to run mm -hmm. on a tablet. They want to move to the tablet era, but mm -hmm. they don't want to leave the, their applications behind. The Surface would be perfect for them. For general consumers, definitely, because they do have two different versions of the Surface. There's one that can run just apps from the Windows Store, which is applications that were just made for Windows 8. And then there's the Surface, which is a little bit thicker, but it's made to run. It's, got, it's basically a PC in a small little uh, container. So okay. there's going to be two versions of that. And are they, are they already in stores or still pre-order? Or? They're actually available for pre-order. You okay. can go to uh, Microsoft Store. You can just uh, pre-order. You can choose. I believe they start at $4.99, and you can go all the way up from there. So then you can add all these accessories if you like to. All right. Now, the other thing we want to talk about is something smaller in price and <laughs> smaller in actual size. Yes. And it's the new, is it the, called the Apple iPad Mini. I've had many. Okay. So supposedly being announced tomorrow, because Apple sent out this announcement, they just said we got a little bit more to show you. They usually kind of cue you in on what's going to be announced in their little tagline in the uh, invite. So this was actually sent out to uh, blogs about a few days ago. Okay. It just says we got a little bit more to show you. So that kind of gave people the idea. There's little. They're trying to promote the little, so they're going to probably announce the iPad Mini. There's also been um, some inventory leaks where uh, companies are starting to add into their inventory system new listings for the iPad, about 12 different kinds. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is they're not just updating the iPad Mini. They're also updating the original, which is they usually don't do that. They usually will wait a year, about a year and a half, mm -hmm. before they update uh, the iPad, which is what they usually do. But actually, it looks like they're going to be updating both iPads. They're going to release the Mini and they're going to update the new iPad with supposedly a faster processor and the new lightning connector. Wow, they just keep going and going. Okay, yeah. what kind of price is the iPad mini? Are we, is it cheaper? It's, it will be cheaper, but that, that's one thing. It'll be about $329 is the rumored price, but the thing is the iPad 2 is only $399. Mm -hmm. Now, whether they drop the iPad 2 and replace it with the mini, we don't know, okay. but if you really want the bigger screen and you don't really care about the iPad 3's uh, retina display, it, the iPad 2 would still be a great option if you don't like the smaller size. Okay, and the iPad mini, what is it what does it not have compared to the new the newest version of the iPad? That's actually a good question because we really don't know because there actually weren't many uh, leaks for this one oh, just some inventory. So we have to leaks. wait till tomorrow. So I guess. we have to wait. So it really is a surprise. It probably won't have a Retina display to keep the price down. Okay. It probably will have the iPad 2's processor, not the iPad 3, again to keep costs down, which still means it'll perform well, but it won't have that enhanced graphics that the iPad 3 has because it has that Retina display. It'll probably have the cameras. It'll probably have all the features iOS 6 has. So it'll be a good buy, but it won't have probably the updated hardware that Apple's already released, just to keep price down. All right, and also tell me, we want to cover what other companies are coming out with tablets for this holiday season. Right, um, Google, Asus, Samsung, they're all got their tablets ready to release. Uh, Samsung's actually got their Galaxy Note 10.1, which is like there's actually a stylus in the tablet, and it's made for taking notes. You literally can write anywhere on the screen, save a note, you can draw oh. doodles, you can send it to other Galaxy Note 10.1 people that own, the, that own the tablet, so you can send all these animations and e-notes is what they're calling it. And um, Google's actually got their Nexus 7, which is already available. It was announced in the summer. Um, it's, it's a seven inch tablet. It's made to be used with one hand. It uh, gets updates directly from Google. So if you really like the Android operating system, the Nexus 7 would be good for you. All right.
Great, great. Tammy, you always have so much information. How can people contact you? Um, I do have a Twitter. I also, you can contact me through androidtaskforce.com. Okay. I do have a Twitter too, so anywhere uh, you you would like to contact me, I would be able to help you. All right, Tammy, you're so helpful, and we always appreciate you being here Thank on you. Tech Tuesday. Thanks so much, Thank Tammy you. Moore.